Uh, there is such thing that is well known in the world, uh, starting with the 70s of the past century, uh, Preston Kovacev's association between the expected uh, life uh, expectancy and GDP uh, per capita per year. It's like that. So, in case of low income per capita, uh, the expected life uh, expect uh, the life expectancy uh, increases quickly with the growth of income per capita, and after forty thousand per capita, forty thousand dollars per annum, its growth discontinues. And you might uh, use a lot of means, but nothing will happen afterwards. Up to Luxembourg and Liechtenstein, when uh, they get one hundred sixty thousand dollars uh, per annum per year, so that is a plateau. And this is Russia. Russia is here first. Uh, we are in the transition period, and there are several other republics of the former USSR. USSR. Please note that Russia is below. Most of the countries where where they have the same income per capita as of 2015, below Russia, we have only, it is not shown here, Trinidad and Tobago and Equatorial, Equatorial Guinea, that's it. Uh, what is the reason for that? Will you please show the next slide? The same uh, for uh, Chinese regions. In Chinese, the same story. The higher the per capita income in yuan, whatever, per annum, the higher the expected life expectancy. And what happens in Russia? If uh, we take the Russian regions, and show the level of uh, income per capita will get this curve. It seems that the higher the revenue, the worse life expectancy. There are some specific features. Uh, these are autonomous areas, Sakhalin, the Yamalnetsk National Area. Uh, they have a lot uh, high revenues per capita, but the rest is bad. Here it is high. These are the republic or republics of the Northern Caucasus. Official income per capita are small, but uh, the uh, life expectancy is high. The next slide. This is for the regions of Russia, also rather interesting. Within each region, here we have central federal district where there are no national areas or republics here within a small range of per capita income we have a trend that is quite uh, obvious the higher the income per capita the higher the expected life expectancy at that point is Moscow it just stands apart uh, from 90% confidence interval. If we remove it, the same remains. This is Northwestern Federal District, and that is Volga area. Uh, that is a large region. And there the situation is reversed. The higher per capita income, the lower the life expectancy. So we have to continue that analysis. But uh, the general conclusion is Russia is a heterogeneous so the measures that are taken in one place might operate, and in another place they wouldn't work. Probably some other measures should be taken there. Then the contribution, and one minute, one minute you have. Please show health care. This is the ratio between the expenses for health care and total expenses, total uh, uh, national GDP for several countries, Russia, Finland, Tajikistan, Cuba, everywhere that ratio is the same. So if we analyze uh, not the dependence between the uh, expenses for healthcare and the expectancy, life expectancy will have the same picture as the common 
President Kov. Well, then we'll try now. Can you move it manually? And here, if we try and look and extrapolate based on the pattern which we can uh, find in these curves, how will the expected life expectancy grow in Russia? In Congo, where there are no revenues now, but if we extrapolate it using the logarithmic curve, Congo at such level of revenues per capita about 3,000. I mean, medical expenses per $3,000 uh, per uh, random will be at the same level as Finland and Japan. And Russia will not be at that level because in Russia, the investments of available funds to people to uh, increase their life expectancy is lower, not only than in Finland or Japan, but it is lower than in Congo and the Tajikistan. First, we have to recognize this fact for the people who take political decisions, and then we have to think what should be done if 